Many watching this YouTube channel are used to buying and fly drones or drones that you put together from parts that you can buy on the store, which normally fly between three and five minutes. In the best scenario, you get some Leon battery and you can fly 10, 12, 15 minutes. But have you ever wondered if you can create something yourself that fly even longer, 35 minutes or something like that? And by creating something yourself, I'm not talking about choosing parts and soldering together. I'm talking about designing your own frame, choosing everything that you want for that specific goal of achieving long flight times and putting it together and make it fly. Some time ago, I got a customer that wanted exactly that. He wanted to go beyond 25 minutes. He wanted to get above 35 minutes and I decided to help him. And I'm going to show you what we did in order to try to achieve his goals. My customer decided to name this project the Apus, which means bird of paradise, and is believed to have no feet and therefore fly forever. This is a perfect name for this kind of project where we want to achieve times that we haven't seen in regular drones that you can buy on the shop. He didn't have much experience with regard drones, but he is an amazing CAD designer, and he based his design in information that is available out there on the internet. He had together with that information some guidelines that helped him create and design his project. For example, he wanted something that was very simple, symmetric, low weight. And I asked him, can we please do something that you can fit a VTX, a Voxnail VTX or a Vista VTX? Because I wanted to be flexible in order to test different things. Cutting the carbon fiber is easier to do with a service. There are many companies offering to cut carbon fiber. The difference between them could be the quality of the carbon fiber and the minimum amount of frames that you have to order when you are uh, doing this kind of work. After ordering a few prototypes, I proceeded to install, solder all the parts. It wasn't a super easy work since there was uh, not much space to work. And we had to do some changes to the original designs of the TPU, for example, because while I was working and, and putting everything together, the capacitor didn't have enough space and I didn't have a way to support it in the beginning. So we had to do changes on the flight using my 3D printer to print new parts and test and check. And the communication was perfect. The work was really, really nice. Uh, finding the issues, thinking about the solution, redesigning the parts. And at the end, everything went fine. And now we have the prototype. The result is this beautiful six inches drone. Very light weighted, symmetrical, very simple to create, kind of trying to use the same screws and very little parts in the whole drone and using some TPU parts to complete the drone, for example, for the GPS or adding the antenna and holding the camera. My part in this project was to help him choose the electronics, build the drone itself, and do some testing for him. We decided to go with T Motors 2203.5 1500 kV, being these very lightweight motors, especially for long range distances. I also chose a uh, all-in-one flight controller with the ESC 45 amps ESC from GEPRC to avoid having a lot of components in the drone using one card, powerful enough that can allow us to fly and keep the drone in the air. In my case, I built it with a Voxnail VTX and for him, I built his prototype with a Vista VTX. In a project like this, there were two very important parts to choose the propellers and the battery that this drone is going to use. We know that LiPo batteries are very good for power, but at the same time, they don't last that much. So we had to choose Leon batteries. My customer wanted to check the difference between 4S and 6S, and that was something that he wanted to test. In my head, I kind of knew that 4S was going to be the best, and I actually own two different packs. One, 18,650 and 121,700. In the case of my test, I got the 18,650 to outperform the 21,700, which I wasn't really expecting. But at the same time, depending on the cells that you have, it could make a difference. 
The smaller package, the 18650, was actually Sony Murata VT6, which I think are the best cells in the market for this kind of performance. When it comes to the propellers, we tested three blades and we tested different two blades. These Ethic propellers that I have in the drone right now were the ones that gave us the best performance. So we decided to use these propellers, use the 4S battery and go and do kind of like the test to see how long can we fly it. As you can see, the experience flying the drone wasn't very common. You have not only the props in view, you actually have the motors in view, which it was a bit of a weird experience when I flew the first time, but at the end I got used to it and I didn't really care about it. The drone had some vibration. I tried to do my best to tune it, but I'm not the best one doing this job. And I'm sure that someone that can actually tune properly a drone can do much better. As you can see, the drone achieved almost 26 minute flying, taking the battery to 2.7, 2.8 volts. I know Leon batteries can be drawn a little bit harder down, like maybe 2.5, maybe 2.6, but I thought it was fair to bring it to this point and keep my batteries live and not push too far the, the pack. Unfortunately, the prototype didn't achieve 35 plus minutes, but it actually achieved 35 minutes under very specific conditions, like hovering inside, a control temperature room, we actually got 35 minutes. Flying it outdoors and doing a real life test, I got it to fly around 25 minutes, which was not close to what we wanted, but still, as I was saying, the whole process of creating this drone was so satisfying and achieving 25 minutes still, I think it's pretty good. Like if you compare, and as I was saying in the beginning, you get from buy and fly drones 10, 15 minutes or something like that. So having this drone created by ourselves, going up to 25 minutes, oh, I consider it a very good achievement. If you are like me and you like to do these kind of projects and have fun with FPV drones, this project was very, very interesting. I would say coming from the FPV hobby, the most difficult part trying to do something like this will actually be designing in a CAD program the frame. But the frame for a drone like this is quite simple. It doesn't have that many parts. It doesn't have, you don't have to think about a lot of variable. So it could actually be a very interesting project for someone that is learning CAD and is interested on FPV as I am. Even though the prototype didn't achieve what the goals that we wanted, I'm very happy with it. And as I was saying, I think it was so cool that I can recommend this to anyone that wants to try to do it. This is what I have for you today. I hope that you enjoy it and see you soon. Thank you for watching.